happiness crosses oceans and bring lovers together. Hello, I'm Tang Yating. Welcome to the show. It takes lots of effort for new immigrants who move to Taiwan to adapt new environment. Lia Juan Yun from Indonesia is a good example. She has two sons. The eldest one has been diagnosed with autism. She didn't give up even with the language barrier. Then she got professional college degree in special children parenting. Let us introduce you the persistent mother. Reporting to health center located in the Singye district is one of Liao Juan Yun's daily routines. I'll interview them first if they say, ah, yeah, it's true. So we'll start to talk them slowly. Yes, I said you can go to the employment service center if you can find a job. They will help us to find a job wherever there is. Even though it's interpreter, but her service includes everything. In medical knowledge, it always updates every year. There are some new information that we have, we have to catch up. Not only understand the law, but also need to know the proper noun. If she wasn't working hard, Lo Jun Yun wouldn't be confident to become a professional volunteer, and that was start from her oldest son. My child is a very special kid. The diagnosis is infantile autism by doctor. Sometimes I didn't know who I should find, who to ask. And the problem is we didn't understand at all what he was saying. For her first son, she attends special children care course in NTUE. Finally, her son's condition was getting better. This makes her more grateful after what she has been through. Not only volunteer, but only devote herself to help the disabled to pay back. Therefore, she was the first new immigrant rewarded by Taiwan government.